just a great sight for any cricket lover or sporting fan to see the Melbourne Cricket Ground with around about 50 odd thousand people in for the first day of a Boxing Day Test match. As the crowd settled back for the traditional Boxing Day entertainment from the MCG last year, they had no idea of the storm that was about to break. Now he's done it again. I just can't see our umpire here can be calling no ball here. Well, I hope he's not calling him for throwing. What I saw, I suppose, was um, um, a gradual deterioration in the legality of, uh, of certain deliveries. Suddenly, everyone began to realise that umpire Hare was indeed calling Sri Lankan spinner Murali Duran for throwing. So I'm sure he's calling him for throwing. I hope it's not, but I've got a terrible gut feeling. I tell you, Bill, having looked at that, there is absolutely no doubt that he's called him for uh, throwing. It is only certain types of deliveries, maybe where the ball has got more spin imparted. So it was off spinners? Off spinners, yeah. And you, you were seeing a straightening of the of the arm yeah, at the point a, of delivery. partial straightening of the arm, yeah. Well, it's at the moment absolute chaos out there. At the end of the over, we saw Murli Duran snatch his cap away. Obviously, the frustration associated with this situation. Daryl Hare has no regrets about his actions well, on that dramatic really boxing that day. Actions which soured the already strained relations between Sri Lanka and Australia and cast doubt over Murli Duran's future. Oh, well, I wasn't aware at the time of, of the full ramifications, but um, you know, it was something that uh, I felt you know, in, as, a, as a conscience thing and um, the way cricket should be played, I felt it was the right thing to do. He's bowled nearly 6,000 balls in Test cricket already. This is his livelihood, and all of a sudden, what is happening out there at the moment is being no ball out of the game. Well, I think uh, Darrell has expressed it fairly well, and he said, well, I, I, I called what I saw, and uh, that's all an umpire can do. Former Australian coach Bob Simpson has more than a passing interest in how the Murali Duran controversy was handled. He's been selected on an International Cricket Council panel to examine any bowlers thought to have suspect actions and suggest ways to prevent another Boxing Day farce. How many suspect bowlers do you think there are at test level now around the world? Oh, I think there's uh, more than it's healthy and uh, I think with the structure we're trying to set up now is that uh, if the uh, umpires have any problems with bowlers, they can refer it back to a committee. But it's a question of having the arm bent and then straightening it in the fraction of a second before the ball leaves the bowler's hand. It was a Murali Duran affair that stung the ICC into action. Simpson's panel has been given the job of arm twisting cricketing countries to take action against their suspect bowlers, something that's proved very difficult in the past. So will that be advice or will that be a finding or direction? Uh, it'll be advice which should be taken very seriously. It's a build up to uh, something which has been evident for you know a couple of years now and uh, nothing's really happened about it. Well credit to the umpire, it's very easy to talk about suspect actions and look at them in slow-mos and videos and write a million words but to actually throw your arm out in front of 55,000 people and call no ball takes a lot of courage. And despite all the controversy he created Umpire Hare's enthusiasm for the game is as great as ever. So what do umpires get that sense of excitement too when they walk out here? Oh, you, you wouldn't be human, I don't think, if you, if you weren't excited and get the blood flowing, no. The MCG holds no nightmares for Daryl Hare, even though his no-balling of Murali Duran brought such a sharp reaction from Sri Lanka. Were you prepared for the, the hostility that was then unleashed against you from the Sri Lankan side? No, deep down I wasn't. Um, I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, I thought, uh, I kept on telling myself that I was doing what I felt was right and um, under the laws of cricket I was obliged to do that. But Murali Duran hasn't been called since that Australian tour. His career, rather than ending in disgrace, blossomed as Sri Lanka went on to capture the world one day crown. I don't feel left alone. I, I, I think at least um, um, it has brought the matter right out into the open. And it's something that will create a fair bit of debate, I suppose, over the, over the years. All the high-speed film tests and the arguments that Murali Duran's action looks different because he has a permanently bent arm don't wash with Daryl Hare. It's OK to say that, that uh, we've looked at this footage at 200 frames a second from 30 degrees and his action's fine, 
that may be under, under trial conditions, but um, that footage uh, wasn't taken during the stress or, or uh, strain of a test match or, or a one day international. As, uh, as your fitness deteriorates during the course of a hot afternoon, who's to say that, uh, that something won't happen and uh, you know, a technique could break down? So he's called that one. So uh, he didn't call the first one, and he's called the second one. So umpire Hare obviously is picking something. The International Cricket Council, in its tougher measures to identify an act against questionable bowlers, remains clear on one thing. The final word must still rest with the umpires, who must have the nerve to call it as they see it. Will this now take the pressure off umpires like Daryl Hare, do you think? I think that's part and parcel. Uh, I hope, though, that the umpires don't hide behind this. I hope they have the courage, as Darrell did, to see and call as he saw it on the day. And if the occasion arises again, rest assured Darrell Hare will have no hesitation in ruling against a chucker. Are you still as committed to being an umpire? Most definitely. I, I don't have any regrets about, uh, about what's happened at all. Uh, apart from the fact that I may not be able to uh, visit certain areas of the world. But um, uh, from a cricketing aspect, I think um, uh, you know, I'm quite happy with, with what's happened. And I just look forward to, I'm, I'm still young in the umpiring scene, so I look forward to a, a few more years anyway.